center circle with Chooks Izatua. Izatua controls the tip, and the Jaguars will have the ball first. And we are underway in the Keeps Horizon League Championship. Neil Rule, Rex Walters, Sidney Cariel here with you tonight. And there's an early knockaway by Jamal Kane to Persia, able to get it back for the Jaguars. And another knockaway, and this time Jamal Kane corrals it. Well, you definitely want to secure the basketball on a position, on a situation like that. They gave one away early that could have been for a layup or dunk. Jay Lamore has been banged up as of late as well. Trey Townsend rips through, has it poked away, and it will stay with the Golden Grizzlies. So it's never about who you play, it's how you play. So you can see Coach Camp, he's already fired up. Let's take care of business every single possession. Camp's actually a little late. We're 37 seconds in. <laughs> Jay Lamore looking for somewhere to go and finds Blake Lampman getting the start. Usually Chris Conway, the freshman, would get the start, but it's Blake Lampman. Shot clock's down to seven. Jalen Moore to the rim, kicks it out. Last second pass to Lampman's three. That's off the right side of the rim, but an offensive rebound. Trey Townsend able to tip it out. And that's what Trey Townsend does, right? He's going to get you extra possessions. He's going to give you everything he's got while he's out there. They're pushing these side pick and rolls down. Jalen read it what good, right, and just had a quick drive away. Nice pass. The shot clock was running down. That's a good look for Lampman, though. He can lock, knock those down. And there's Matt Crenshaw in his first season. Was the all-time leader in assists as a player at IUPUI, spent three years as an assistant at Ball State. Step back, J-Mo off the left side of the rim. As the Tua pulls it down. But again, you see the patience of Oakland, right? They're gonna run their offense. They're gonna make sure they wanna play that, play in the 60s, 70s. It might get a little bit above that tonight if they take care of business. And the Tua's got the mismatch in the paint. The jump hook popped out. There's a two of every bit of 6'11 out there because Trey Townsend at 6'6. Six six. And that's a good look for them. They got the ball deep in the paint. That's a make or miss shot. He can knock that down. Trey Townsend has the ball on the rip through. He's bumped on the way up, gets the shot to go and one. And Trey Townsend will be shooting a free throw in an attempt to finish off the three point play. Let's send it over to our sideline reporter, Sidney Carriel. Hey guys, thanks. Well, we'll start with our impact players for Oakland. Our impact player of the game will be freshman Micah Parrish in the regular season finale versus Cleveland State. Parrish tied his season high with 20 points. He was named to the Horizon League All Defensive Team this year, and he has 45 steals on the year. In the last five games, he's he's averaged 17.4 points per game. Now to IUPUI graduate student BJ Maxwell will be a difference in this one. He leads the team in scoring with 12.4 points per game. And prior to join, joining IUPUI, BJ played at Abilene Christian in Texas and St. Edwards University in his hometown of Austin, actually. And he was the Lone Star Conference Newcomer of the Year. We've got a lot of good stuff coming from both of these two. Guys? Thank you very much, Sydney. Appreciate that. Entry pass into the post. A good pump fake, but the shot won't go for Isatua. Isatua was a three-star recruit, was a number four center in Texas out of Jack Yates High School. Didn't start playing basketball until he was 13 years old, which is not that long ago. Well, that's not a bad thing for a big guy. I always believed that bigs develop late, so he's got a really good future ahead of him. Jamal Kane, the Horizon League co-player of the year. Lampman, 4-3, of course. Blake Lampman sticks it from the left wing. Yeah, really good inside out. You saw Jamal Kane get the ball inside, good kick out, and then again, Jalen Moore with a great next play pass to Blake Lampman. Boston Stanton with the basketball to Persia. Staring into that Oakland zone. And that shot's too strong off the heel. What a box out by Trey Townsend. <laughs> he eliminated Isatua. There were two old school box outs by Trey and by Lampman. They both cleared the, cleared the whole paint on that shot. Golden Grizzlies with a 6-0 lead. Micah Parrish in the corner to Lampman. Skip pass across the floor. Jalen Moore puts it on the deck. Lost control of it and turned it over. Yeah, you got the big closing out to Jalen Moore. That's a good situation, but dribbling that ball to his left hand, we see the, the brace on the wrist. Might have affected him a little bit on that play.
I like the ball pressure here by Oakland. DePersia brings it up the floor right at Jamal Kane. That shot won't go, but the rebound is tipped out. And the Jaguars will get another crack at it. Good bounce pass by DePersia. And the mid-range filled up by B.J. Maxwell. Yeah, great find right there, right at the nail. Maxwell knows what to do with it. He's got a scores mentality. Jayla Moore goes to work directing the offense. Don't say Price looking for Kane. They don't double this time anyway. Now they do. Ball worked around. Ose Price all alone for three. Can't get that one to fall. And it's pulled down by Isatua. But great patience right there by Kane just to wait for the double team and make a good pass. And the calm and everybody locked in too for the Keeps Horizon League Basketball Championships in Indianapolis. 35 million minutes of Horizon League action. And of course, with the addition of Rex Walters this year, that number should go to at least 44 million. You got to hope. You got to keep hope alive. <laughs> Lampman's three won't go. But Jayla Moore gets maybe the easiest offensive rebound in the history of basketball. Jamo lost it off his foot. Here comes B.J. Maxwell. The Persia with it. Maxwell. Corner cut. Good knockaway, though, by Jamal Kane. Yeah, great length there by Jamal Kane. Gets a hand on it. But again, Oakland's got to take care of the basketball in those situations, especially on the break. Here's Boston Stanton with the basketball. Stanton had a 4.78 GPA in high school. That is correct. That's cumulative for three semesters. He's got me, a, Yeah, he's got a double as also the team tutor. That, that's yeah. big time. <laughs> Here comes Jamo on the other end. No look dish. Micah Parrish, who scores it off the window. They'll call it goal 10, but it fell through anyway. But how about that? Boston Stanton, 4.78 GPA in high school as we get another look at the goal. That is incredible. Yeah, no, that's incredible. And you, the great thing is, as a coach, you don't have to worry about admissions <laughs> letting this guy in. He's going to get in OK. Oh, the study table, things like that. <laughs> and that is not a concern. Institua muscles up against Kane in a tough break for him. As that shot pops out. He's getting good looks in there. Just a little bit rushed, but also Jamal Kane may have something to do with that as well. A lot of switching here by IUPUI. They'll double team the post again. The shot clock's down to six. Jamal Kane has it. Hand off Parrish. He forces up the three and front rims it. Just a two. Of, well, the game plan looks pretty clear for the Jaguars, Rex. When that ball goes in the post, it's a double every single time. They're daring the Golden Grizzlies to beat them from deep. Yeah, I thought it was just Kane, but no, that time they doubled uh, Parrish as well, so that's definitely a point of emphasis with IPY. Yes, Atua has it poked away. Jay Lamore comes back with it. And yeah, so a lot of switching on pick and rolls and even on any type of pin down, and then looking to double the post, so Jamal... Jamal Kane says, oh, let me catch it at the elbow. Yep. I, goes a little bit against what Cam, Coach Campy wants to do. <laughs> right. But still, he's got to do that to keep his guys as fresh and as focused as possible. Same five on the floor for IUPUI <laughs> out of the timeout. That ball's knocked away, and Jamal Kane picks it up. And for young players, when you drive the basketball, you've got to see it before you do it. You know, that time they, he leaves his feet on the pass and all of a sudden he gets stuck, especially against the length of Oakland's defense. A great entry pass to Kane. Ose Price is all alone for three, and that one pops out. And Kane punches a rebound out to Lampman. Kane, another mid-range shot. This one's too strong. Battle for the rebound, and Ose Price is hit with the foul. So the biggest thing, because Jamal's making really good passes out of the double, but our shooters got to be pointed and ready, right, on the catch to knock down those shots. Jamal's making a little bit of adjustment. I'm catching it off the block now and just squaring up and shooting so the double can't get to me. 10-2, Golden Grizzlies have the lead. IUPUI has not scored in over four minutes, and it's another turnover, and Ose Price will work downhill, and a great poke away by B.J. Maxwell. That is a great play by Maxwell. He turns the ball over, but again, 
Don't put your head down. Get back. Make a play. He gets a hands on. Get a hand. Gets a hand on it. Causes a turnover. Now it's back to IUPUI's possession. I'll say Price in the meantime hit with his second personal foul. So here's something to keep an eye on. Now we'll say we'll stay out there with 12-17 to play in the first half. And that's one thing, Price. I think he's got to get better. As I've watched him, when you get inside the the, the free throw line extended, put your head down and rack it hard. He has a tendency of slowing down when he gets towards the rim. This a Tua, another unlucky break for him. He's 0 of 4 from the floor, and he's had prime real estate shots every single time, and they just pop out on him. Yeah, those are all good looks that, that I know IUPUI needs. They need some scoring. And he can provide it, knocking down those shots. Since January, when there was six guys, and then that dropped to five recently, and he said, really, though, I'm being honest, we really did get closer as a team, and you could tell on the court they're not straying away at all, guys. They're really trying to push along. Neil? Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Will Shepard in the game as Blake Lampman knocks down a triple from the left wing. A great find that time by Micah Parrish. Again, IUPY is looking to double. The pass was on time and on rhythm. Lampman knocks it down. And you certainly do respect it for Matt Crenshaw. You know, you got to walk in with a game plan, right? Top of the key three. That's filled up by Nathan McClure. McClure, 32% three-point shooter, a transfer from Texas State. But they have a clear game plan with what they're going to do. They do. They're going to make Oakland beat them with threes. They're going to get the ball out of the post, really try to protect the paint, right, and make Oakland make open threes. Micah Parrish on the overplay, spins around and dunks it down with two hands. And that time the gamble came up empty. Yeah, the Persia kind of overran on the post, so no double could happen. Micah was on a straight line drive to the rim. Boston Stanton puts it on the floor. Will Shepard dives after it. A tough break right there for Will Shepard. He gets the steal and got a little bit of a push. Makes him fall into the baseline. And this is pretty good, yeah, pretty good hand right here, and then a little collision knocks him out of bounds. Trey Townsend and Jalen Moore come back in. Jamal Kane and Osei Price go out. So Coach Campy trying to play a little more rotation heavy than he typically might. Oakland with that 15 to five lead. Coming up on 10 minutes left in the first half. Top of the key, three a shot, no iron drawn. And once again, the Grizz gang aided in that one. They started counting on the shot clock to three, two, one, but it was six, <laughs> it was eight, seven, six. The, the student section, the band helping us, helping out the Oakland team. They're, they're becoming high level with their <laughs> shot clock illusion. Uh, they have been sharp all season long. Micah Parrish for three, that one's too strong. That rebound yanked down by Isatua. Vincent Tua had a double-digit game against Texas San Antonio earlier this year at 10 and 3. Well, he's got the body. He's got the size. It's just going to come down to getting the reps. And there's a great give and a go. And Nathan McClure slices to the rim and lays it in. Yeah, nice pass by the Persia, too. And a great cut that time by McClure to get that layup. Jalen Moore with the basketball. Will Shepard throws it over top of the defense. A little bit too much mustard on the hot dog, though, as that ball goes over top of Trey as well. Yeah, yeah just, just, off, just outside of his catch area. But again, they find a Persia right here in the short corner and just a great cut right down the gut by McClure to get that layup. You know what's funny, Rex? When you listen to Sydney too talk about what Matt Crenshaw said and how tight you are, and you have to be tight. If you're if you got five or six players, you have to be tight. That's not a, a quote unquote play right there, right? That's a read on both sides. Yeah, that, that's no question a read against this zone. You can't run a whole lot of sets against this zone by Oakland. You've got to learn how to play, play the right way, hard cuts, find the man, hit him on time, hit him in rhythm. That was pretty good by APY on that possession. Trying to get Jamal Kane established and 
Boston Stanton the third got a little too handsy with them. Yeah, got caught and, and he knew Jamal was coming back to the basketball. Stan said, forget about that. I'm just gonna grab you. Keep you <laughs> keep you from that duck in post up. It's only a third team foul on IUPUI. Gaines in the corner. Driving baseline, triple team comes that time. Price 4-3, and this time, Jose Price knocks it down. And again, this is what IUPUI is gonna do here tonight. It's up to the Oakland shooters. But a great job by Jamal Kane of being a facilitator, knowing that he's getting a lot of attention, and Price knocks it down. B.J. Maxwell on the other side, knocks down the mid-range shot. 18-9, Golden Grizzlies have the lead. Coming up on eight minutes left here in the first half. Neil Rule, Rex Walter, Sidney Carriel here with you in the arena. The Keeps Horizon League Championship. I like the pace by Oakland. Wow. And there's perfect execution. And Jamal Kane gets the soft jam off the Jalen Moore dime. Yeah, great screens by Price and Lampman, of course. Jalen Moore with the delivery. Jamal Kane now with four points and two boards. The Horizon League co-player of the year. To Persia, great bounce pass. It's a two with a catch in the layup. But the Persia's made a couple nice passes and a really good post up that time by Isatua to get that layup. Good execution again by the Jaguars. Jamal Kane off a ball screen drop off to Trey. Trey has it. Assistant commissioner to the Horizon League. And always, whenever you talk about Indy, Rex, my first question, St. Elmo's is good, right? They're open, we're ready to go. That, that's, that's always my priority question. You like a little steak? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little good bit, you know, a little bit. Well, it's going to be a great, like, conference tournament. When you get to Indianapolis, four teams playing really good basketball. I've been really impressed. I'm a little jealous of you. You're going to probably get to go down there. I'm going to be stuck in the snow <laughs> up in Detroit. Trey Townsend unable to get either of the free throws. As he rounds back into playing shape. The Golden Grizzlies turning up the heat, and it's a 10-second violation against Mike DePersia. And you knew at some point, Rex, this was going to come into play. And yes, IUPUI has five players, and you got to use that to your advantage when you can. You do. Extending the defense, getting to some pressure, some presses out there, trying to force some turnovers. Really good coaching after a timeout by Coach Campy. Trey Townsend shots too strong off the glass. Offensive rebound by Parrish. His putback was blocked from behind, and Isatua has it. Well, IUPY is putting a premium on shots at the rim. Getting through into the paint, leaving the shot short, however, was to Persia. And there's a rip by Jamal Kane. Boy, that was some quick hands by Jamal <laughs> Kane. And I love the fact that the defense was, again, just swarming on the basketball to cross that turnover and start the Oakland offensive attack. Jalen Moore around the screen, trying to finish at the rim, unable to. Looking to the official, said he wanted a foul call, didn't get it. And that was a tough one. There was a lot of black jerseys on that one. Had pretty good spacing on the weak side. Jalen Moore doesn't miss a lot of guys. He might have missed them that time. Stanton will catch and launch and fill from the left ring. Boston Stanton. 24% three-point shooter on the year. Didn't look like it there. Looked more like Mark Price. Yeah, that was great penetration. Put some pressure on the nail. Nice kick. And Stanton, you're right. That was pure. Now your PUI staves off the first Oakland run. They're back in it now down six. But Trey Townsend with a catch. He was fouled by Isatua from behind. And Isatua had to do it or else it was going to be an easy lay-in for Trey. Well, that was a great read by Jalen Moore. A lot of times on those cross kings, the attention goes to Jamal Kane. Well, all of a sudden, Trey Townsend sets the screen and just flashes back to the basketball. But Jalen Moore had the presence of mind to read it and deliver the pass. So Trey Townsend shooting two at the line, gets the first one to go. Trey shot free throws at a 76% clip on the season. Average 14 points and six rebounds. Now, he's Mr. Un unappreciated in my book. Right. Like, I, I, you know. This kid, and I, I get it, he missed the last game because of injury, but you know exactly what you're going to get from him every single night. And not just scoring, he does. He scores at a 14% clip, but setting screens, rebounding, taking charges, 
getting on loose balls. Those are all things that are I call winning plays that he brings to the equa equation. Average 12 points and six rebounds at the two Big Ten schools in West Virginia and Oklahoma State. Had a big time game against Rice down in Florida. It's a two shot, won't go. But he will go to the free throw line. And I believe they get Micah Parrish, and it is. That'll be his first. Well, really good pass off the penetration. And this two has got good hands. I think as he gets older and used to the speed of the game, you can see he kind of fades. Even though he got fouled, he kind of, he kind of fades away from the basket. He's got to go through the rim and through contact. Troops this a two makes a first one. He's a 58% free throw shooter. Got that one to go. Three points. He's got 10 rebounds already wow. in the game. Can't get the second shot to go. IUPUI has 11 as a team, so you know what you get with me, Rex, and that's some pretty crack math skills. <laughs> he has 10 out of the 11 rebounds for IUPUI. You're welcome, everyone, for that conversion. Yeah, that's a high defensive efficiency stat. Double team comes, a pass to Conway is stripped away. IUPUI down seven with the basketball. And Jamal Kane ripped it away, Stanton got it back. Shot was too strong. And Blake Lantman will grab it and slow it down. Coach Campy wants a specific play ran here, Rex. Yeah, I got we'll the sense. Like that. Yeah, I, I got the sense he knew exactly what he wanted to do and wanted to make sure everyone else in white understood as well. Lampman trails. Now he puts it on the floor, gets to the cup, and lays it in. Well, that's a strong take from Blake Lampman. He's and added I, that to his game. And I think we're going to see more and more of that over the next few years where he's not just thinking about shot. He has athleticism. He's got a good first step. He can get to the rim as well. Maxwell fires a three, and he fills it up. Nice pull up right there, just one bounce, vertical. Nice nice follow through as well. I mean, this kid can score it. Maxwell knows how to put the ball in the hoop. At 14 points and six rebounds at Butler, had a double-double at Texas San Antonio with 13 points and 10 boards. Lampman steps back, his jump shot's off the front rim. And here comes IUPUI once again. Down by six with a basketball. McClure into the paint. Jamal Kane goes up over everyone and pulls down the rebound. Blake Lampman looked like he caught a shot to the face. Yeah, McClure like, pressed a, a tough situation. Had a nice little shot at the elbow and decided to drive it. Kind of driving that ball into the trees of Oakland's defense. Jalen Moore with a basketball. Kane got his man. Said on Twitter, more on more than one occasion. Let's send it over to Sydney Carriel. Sydney, what do you got? Thanks, Neil. Well, you guys can see Coach Campy is a little frustrated here on the sideline. And in the timeout right then, he said, look, guys, they believe they have a chance. They believe they have a chance. We're giving up easy ones. And now B.J. Maxwell knocked down another three. We need to play defense and get a stop right here. Neil? Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, Sydney. Appreciate that. Micah Parrish pulls down the rebound of the miss. Appreciate that, Sydney. Well, that's always a challenge. I think Oakland believes and expects to win, but you're always playing against the game as opposed to playing against your competition. We know that IUPUI is down, but Oakland's got to play. Micah Parrish kicks it out. Good ball movement. Price in the corner. 4-3. Left it short. At yeah, some point, you got to knock him down, right, Rex? Yeah, really good execution. Good pass. Good extra pass. Price has got to be ready to knock it down. Be aggressive with it. Micah Parrish got a hand on that pass. Golden Grizzlies. 3 of 11 from behind the three-point line. Ten seconds left. And Osei Price will be dinged for his third foul here in the first half with a minute 52 to play. Yeah, he left his feet on Stanton's shot fake. Really, there was no reason to. He had good stick hand up defensively, and Stanton smart. Once he left his feet, he attacked him and draw the foul. Both teams haven't scored in two and a half minutes. 
And here's IUPUI. To quote Teddy KGB from Rounders, hanging around, hanging around. <laughs> Great movie. Great movie. Boston Stanton in the corner. Shot clock's running down. Maxwell will fire and get it to go right at the buzzer. Yeah, great shot. If, if Micah could have that back, I think he would. He went for the steal, and with the shot clock going down, you just need to be solid in those situations. Make them shoot the ball over the top. Maxwell's got 10. And here's Jamal Kane with it. Kane puts it on the deck, turns, jump hook, contact, and one. Is a two a hit for the foul, his second. And that's a great safety outlet to have when you can get the ball to number one and he can go to work. That was a want to bucket. Yeah, that double needs to come quicker on him. One on one coverage against Jamal Kane is going to be a bucket or a foul, and a lot of times both, like he just did. PJ Maxwell, as we said in double figures, he's four of four from the floor as Kane's too strong with a free throw. Golden Grizzlies just three of six from the free throw line. And that's going to be an offensive foul. You could see that one developing. That's true. That's where Trey Townsend lives. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he makes all those little plays. Read that easy. McClure kind of made his mind up. Pretty good play there by Trey Townsend. He, he's willing to put his body on the line. A hard hat player with skill that makes winning plays. Golden Grizzlies up by five. They have the basketball. Could be a two-for-one scenario here. 48 seconds and ticking left here in the half. Jay Lamore gets the screen. Kick out Parrish. Parrish step back, 4-3. That one comes up short. Rebounds loose on the floor. Trey Townsend has it. His hook shot won't fall. And that's pulled down by McClure. A yeah, good second effort by IUPUI. To come out of that, they're giving up some size across the one through four and was able to come up with it. This could be a momentum play for IUPUI if they can knock down a shot. Oakland's got to really bear down. Four second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Shot clock down to three. Issa Tua will fire up the jumper. That rattles around, will not fall. Parrish with the rebound, hands it off to Jay Mose of Looking like there might be an upset. Yeah, Robert Morris, the big, that's a big time win if they can come away with it. And kind of messes up a bracket for the horizon. 13 seconds left in that game. Back to uh, the second half here. Jamal Kane fouled on the way up. Boston Stanton got him in the mouth, I think. Nice play here by Lampman. Off of movement, nice lob. It's a two, it's just a second too late and gets him across the face. Well, it's a two, uh, as you said, hit with that foul call. That's his third, so keep an eye on that as Jamal Kane's free throw is short. But I liked what Coach Campy had to say. There's no panic in him. Like, this is the way we play. We, we've got to be a little bit more efficient offensively. Keep defending. Held him 21 in the first half. The guys can... And now some full court pressure from the Golden Grizzlies. They're turning up the heat. And there's an interception by Blake Lampman. Jamal Kane will fire the three. That's off the left side of the rim. And the rebound once again yanked down by McClure. For more, let's send it over to sideline reporter Sydney Carriel. Thanks, Neil. Well, Rex, just like you were saying, Coach Greg can't be pretty calm. At halftime, he was really calm. Well, I just caught up with Matt Crenshaw over on the other side for IUPUI. And same thing. He's pretty calm, too. And he said, look, we're going to continue doing what we're doing. We had a couple of early turnovers in the first half. But once we settled in, we played good. There's no pressure on us here. We just have to keep playing our game. Guys? Jamal Kane gets to the cup and lays it up and in with the left hand. He's got nine points and four rebounds. And the Golden Grizzlies with three quick ones here to start the second half. I think it's a good point by Sydney because all the players are gonna look towards their coaches and if the coaches have some panic in them, which neither one of them do, they're, they're gonna get tight as well. So you want these guys playing good, aggressive, confident basketball. And Satua catches that in the post, double team comes and it's knocked away. And it's Satua at the shot clock buzzer 
able to rise up and get it to go at the last possible second. Yeah, he was working on his little jump hook at halftime. I mean, he had some ones with he knows he can knock down, and that one's got to be a confidence builder for him. Jayla Moore with the crossover. Trey Townsend looking for Jamal Kane. Parrish the catch, the launch, leaves it short from the left corner on the three. They're just a little bit discombobulated offensively, not because of pressure or anything, but just, you know, Jamal Kane was open in the post. Blake kind of missed him. Townsend leaves his feet on that pass. And then now in this situation, we foul a guy that really, there's really no reason to foul in that situation. Trey Townsend had good rim protection right there. Boston Stanton will step to the line. He's got three points in the basketball game so far. And Rex, even with five players, the first half is the first half. You, know, you, can, you can get through playing 20 minutes, and you can be all right doing that. I think we're getting about to that point. Maybe in the next, after the next five to six minutes, you'll get to that point, I think, where you start to maybe see it take its toll. And I think you'll see it offensively in that the, off the cuts won't be as sharp. There won't be as much, I guess you would say, juice behind those cuts and maybe a few more turnovers. Yeah, the cuts won't be as sharp. They, they won't be able to get back quite as fast. The, the shots will end up being just a little bit short. You know, they haven't shot it great in the first place, but they've stayed in this game. But no question, it, it does take its toll on your body. Trey Townsend rips through into the paint. His jump hook is good. And Isatua playing with three fouls, and there's literally nowhere else to go. He's got to concede ground to Trey. Yeah, he can't leave his feet early. He's going to have to stay down. Trey knows it. But really good patience there by Trey to get to that le right hand, left hand jump hook right over the top. There's a good corner cut in, and the drop off to Itzatua. The shot won't go, but IUPUI will get another crack at it. Good position defense there by Trey Townsend. A little mishandle there by McClure. But again, Itzatua, like as he gets older, instead of fading on that jump hook, he's going to try to go through the rim. But again, good position. I, I think thought he's, somebody yeah, was yeah. in the corner. There I think was nobody you thought there. the manager. The manager was standing up. He had his hands up. but And to be fair, the manager's yeah. probably participating <laughs> a lot in practice. <laughs> he might yeah. be. He might be. Trey Townsend rips through. He's bumped. And who are they going to get? I think they'll give it, and they do, to DePersia. That'll just be the first on DePersia. Institua was close to picking up that fourth. He's going to have to play great position defense with great discipline. They can't afford it's a two to get his fourth foul right here. Jay Lamore sends it into Micah Parrish. Inside 17 left in this one. 31 25 Oakland. Jay Lamore getting to the rim, has that shot sent away. Blake Lampman tracks it down. Parrish 4 3, way short. And that's yanked down by DePersia. And he's looking to move. Maxwell's three. He fills it up in the left corner. And B.J. Maxwell still has not missed here tonight. Five for five. He's got 13. Well, that's that corner three transition defense. The Persia does a good job push, pushing and finds Maxwell in the corner. Jay Lamore gets to the rim, scores it, and one. That was a big time take. We've been waiting for the free throw line. The 1HL group's a student athlete led initiative that seeks to celebrate unity and inclusion while also bringing about meaningful change across the Horizon League by encouraging student athletes to be the change. Projects have included the annual Coach John McClendon Day, voter registration drives, and celebrations around diversity and inclusion. Learn more at horizonleague.com slash 1HL. And there's a dunk on the other end by Isatua after the Jalen Moore miss. And IUPUI down just three, coming up on 15 and a half minutes left. Yeah, good press offense execution. The ball really moved. Great unselfishness by Maxwell, and Isatua gets the dunk. Jalen Moore with it now on the left wing. The shot clock 
Down to 10, they're looking for Jamal Kane. And Parrish bumped and fouled on the floor. Let's send it over to Sydney Carriel. Thanks, Neil. Well, one thing I, one other thing I wanted to point out with uh, Matt Crenshaw, he also told his guys before the game, look, a lot of guys are still helping and are providing energy off the bench. That's what he told me pregame. And he's, and we can see that. You, anytime they make a big shot, you can see the bench just absolutely providing that energy and giving the guys a boost of confidence. You saw it in their last couple possessions. Now, as for Oakland, Greg Campy told his guys, we have to guard B.J. Maxwell. He repeated it a couple times and then also said, we need four stops in a row right now. Guys? Thank you, Sydney. Appreciate that. Big time three point make by Jalen Moore, 36 to 30. Golden Grizzlies have the lead. And you coaches do that, don't you, Rex? You kind of break it down into mini games. Yeah, you want to get some, you know, score, stop, score, stop, score. St it all adds up at the end of the day. But yes, they need to know where Maxwell is as well. Finally, miss, get, gets a, forces up a miss by Maxwell. But he's a guy that could put some pressure on Oakland's defense. But. You're a psychologist in those timeouts. You're trying to get these. You know, Oakland's not playing great, playing good enough to win right now, but you're trying to get something out of them because, really, you put some stops together, you can bust this game wide open. Both teams at 41%. Golden Grizzlies are really hurting themselves at the free throw line. They're four of nine. They shoot almost 80% as a team. Trey Townsend off the glass. He scores it. It's a two ahead to concede ground playing with that foul situation and having three of them. Yeah, really smart play by Trey Townsend right there. There's a steal by Blake Lampman. Lampman the no look to Jamal Kane and it goes through his hands. And Kane walking a little gingerly, going back up the floor. It's a five on four and Jalen as we get a look at Jamal Kane. And Rex, I was telling you during the break, I was locked in on Golden Grizzlies athletic trainer, Chris Curran, and he just stood there off to the side. And I equated it almost to a flight attendant when, you, when a plane's bumping in the air. If the flight attendant's cool, and they're not like sitting down and strapping in, then I'm all right with it. That's how I felt about Chris Curran during well, that well, timeout. Well, 100%. If he's in the middle of the huddle, you know yeah. that there's some problems. <laughs> he was nice and relaxed, which was good to see. And Jamal Kane sends it to Parrish, and Parrish dribbles it out of bounds. A turnover for the Golden Grizzlies. And, and Rex, really, I mean, the offense just has not been sharp here tonight. Yeah, it hasn't been for, for a lot of different reasons. Ball's just a little bit loose, passes off the body not hitting guys on time and rhythm. You gotta hope you put together some defensive stops we talk so we can get out, so Oakland can get out and transition, maybe get some easy ones and break this thing open. 13 and a half left. Yeah, and if you're IUPY, you just wanna hang around. And there's a knockaway by Micah Parrish to Ose Price. Kane has it, he fires a three. Of course, Jamal Kane sticks a triple. And the Golden Grizzlies equal their largest lead of the night. It's 41 to 30, just like that. He's done that a few times, just to try to break this game open with some big shots. And nearly a steal by Parrish. But DePersia keeps it. And there's a block from behind. Jamal Kane sent it back like an undercooked steak. And here come the Golden Grizzlies. That was a big time block right there. He climbed over McClure to get that one. JMO steps back, 4-3, that one's off the heel. Kane was pushed away by B.J. Maxwell. And Rex, I'll tell you what, Jamal Kane's going to another level right now. <laughs> he is, he wants to make sure that they take care of business right here. Watch him just climb, goodness gracious. Big time, and it, the, the thing amazed me, he does jump high, but he gets off the floor so quickly to rebound the basketball in that situation to get the block. Jalen Moore will inbound underneath the basket. He needs to get it in, and he does to Kane. They don't double, so Kane will fire the three, and that one will pop out. Rebound snatched away by McClure. The IEPY has done a good job with facing on the bounds. A lot of switching, caused some confusion offensively for Oakland. Golden Grizzlies on an 8-0 run. Last two and a half, but getting to the rim out of the corner and scoring is McClure. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Sydney Carriel. Thanks, Neil. Well, in that last break, Coach Greg Campy said in the next six minutes, hold them to only four points. Well, we just saw them score a bucket there, so now they're going to need to hold them, or Greg Campy will be pretty frustrated. Neil? 
Jayla Moore called for the foul on the transition opportunity. Just the second team foul against Oakland. And Jayla Moore's first foul. Just a little bit of confusion. I, I think Jalen thought he was going to do a little chase action with Jamal Kane, made the pass, and Jamal was thinking more pick and roll. And turnovers always put you in transition. And Maxwell took advantage trying to get to the basket and got fouled. But that's what we're talking about offensively. It's just been a little bit off today. Echoed his message there. Keep playing our game. Don't take away from what our game plan was from the get-go. And he also said, like he said at half, the pressure, we have no pressure on us. So just keep going. As far as for Oakland, they want to keep the pressure on the Jaguars and keep attacking to the basket and really close it out in the next couple minutes here. And like Greg Campy said, in the next six minutes, only hold them to four points, and that's how we can win this game. Guys? Harris for three. That one is short, and that might have been a travel, and it was on McClure. He grabbed the rebound. I think he tripped over Isatua's feet and caused him to shuffle him. Well, that's some of that's because of the attention of Jamal Kane getting on the glass. All of a sudden, guys are running into him, so I'm just trying to keep him off of the backboards. They get it in to Kane off the inbound. He can't get the layup to go. IUPUI still hanging in there. There's a right side three that's filled up. Boston Stanton the third. He's two of two from behind the three-point line. He's a 24% three-point shooter. But tonight, 100% of the time, he makes them every time. And that's why Coach Prensaw is being a cheerleader, you know, aggressive, attack, attack. We've got nothing to lose. You want to make this IUPUI team feel like they're playing downhill. Jayla Moore with it. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Lampman puts it on the deck, gets to the rim. The shot's too strong. One shot now for the Golden Grizzlies. Transition opportunity. Layup spins off. Townsend pulls down the board. That was a strong rebound by Trey. Yeah, big time rebound by Trey. I love the fact that he was open in the post. Didn't get it, but didn't complain. Get back, get a rebound. Jalen Moore gets the shot to go and one. Great use of the We've talked about it all season long. He's phenomenal about creating, creating contact, feels the arm, and smart enough, he hears the whistle. Get it up off the backboard, get it up to the rim have a chance for a three-point play. Just like that, Jalen Moore has seven points with five rebounds and five assists. His free throw is good. He finishes off the three-point play. Just slugging his way through. You see how heavily wrapped, braced, taped that left wrist is. That's his shooting hand. But it's March, and he'll be the first one to tell you there's no other alternative right now. Well, the other alternative is not a good one, and you know he wants to play as bad as anybody. And Jamal Kane nearly got the steal. That ball's loose, and bodies are going everywhere after it. And the jump ball is called, and IUPUI has the arrow. But understand, that is the co-player of the year, first one on the floor, right? If you don't think it's important to him, you're crazy. So IUPUI keeps it on the arrow, and gives me a chance to jump on the soapbox and again that's not <laughs> Oakland centric IUPUI is rewarded for nearly losing possession of the ball because of the possession arrow rule jump that ball up <laughs> jump it up and that goes for both sides and there's a scoop in the paint that won't go the tip hangs on the rim Parrish had the rebound but it's out of bounds off of BJ Maxwell and we got to do a better job if you're Oakland in terms of being in right that's one time where IUPUI gets right to the basket and gets a second look at it as well. Protect the rim and then build your defense out. Jaguar starting to grab the bottom of those shorts right now. <laughs> BJ Maxwell, DePersia, both of them. Inside 10 minutes left. Lampman top of the key. Three, of course, Blake Lampman. And BJ Maxwell just couldn't get out there. Yeah, great elevator play too. Kind of closed the gate on Maxwell. Lampman with a great shot to Get some separation. Boston Stanton has it. Into Maxwell, in the paint, shot too strong. Great box out by Trey Townsend. Isatua couldn't get to it. He's got 13 rebounds with nine points. Here's Lampman again, 4-3. Too strong this time. 
Maxwell pulls it down. Great pass by Jalen Moore. Right on time and rhythm. Lampman doesn't finish it off. That's good basketball. Left corner, big three here for the Jaguars. That one won't fall as Jamal Kane pulls down the rebound of the McClure miss. And even after the Blake Lampman makes, Golden Grizzlies from behind the three-point line, still just six of 22. And Blake's been the one guy that's really knocked down some of those threes. He's got three of those six makes. Double team comes to Kane. And that pass knocked away and bodies flying everywhere. And Jalen Moore. It's just another area where Blake needs to get better. Like he needs to be shot ready all the time. Great effort by two, two players. It means something. But Blake needs to understand the offensive three-point threat that he is as opposed to just catching and moving it, play off your shot fakes, be shot ready. It just puts so much pressure on the defense because he's such a threat from out there. Coach Campy, associate head coach Jeff Smith right now talking to Blake Lamman. Is that what he's saying? Be shot ready? I would think so, but also the pass. The pass wasn't right. great as well. So I'm sure Coach Camp is like, hey, we got to just take care of the basketball. We're going to get good looks. Not only if we get good looks, we've got Jamal Kane and Micah Parrish and Trey Townsend getting on the glass. That's a double-edged sword. Jay Lamore knocks a free throw down. In the meantime, that's the fourth foul on Nathan McClure. And if you are just joining us, IUPUI playing with five players here tonight in total. Not five scholarship players, five players. And McClure has his fourth foul. And it's a situation, if he gets called for his fifth, then the Golden Grizzlies are going on the power play. <laughs> I haven't seen that one in a while. Hopefully yeah. it doesn't get to that. And hopefully Oakland just continues to take care of business on both sides of the ball. Jalen Moore makes both free throws. And this is the Golden Grizzlies' largest lead of the night with eight and a half to play. Here come the Jaguars. They need a bucket. That ball's loose on the floor. Picked up by DePersia. McClure back to DePersia. Golden Grizzlies in that zone. Ball screen comes. Elbow, jump shot, rattles around and off. The putback is good by McClure. And McClure does a great job of just playing hard. Attacks the basket, gets on the offensive glass. Oakland just got to finish the possession. That was pretty good. They got the shot they wanted, just didn't finish it with the defensive rebound. Micah Parrish comes out to get it. Shot clock at 12. Moore slides to the left between the legs dribble, going 1v1, spinning in the paint, has his shot blocked. Down to Boston Stanton. Stanton had his pocket picked by Parrish. Two on one with Kane. Kane will go to the rim and score it with the left hand through some contact. Yeah, great attack. You got to make the defense commit. By the time the Persia committed, it was too late. Kane's too big, too fast, too strong, and gets the layup. Kane's got 14 with five rebounds. Right wing three off the glass. That will not fall. Jalen Moore with a rebound. Crosses over his man behind the back pass. Kane, 4-3. Oh, of course! Jamal Kane sticks at three, and the Golden Grizzlies. More draft picks than Conference USA, the MAC, Missouri Valley, and the WAC. Ohio Valley as well. Big possession here for IUPUI out of the timeout, and they get the bucket. Mike DePersia able to run down the floor. And they needed that bucket bad. They've got a little rushed. We talked about the fatigue. There's also mental fatigue of being out there that long, so they needed that bucket by DePersia to give them some life. That's DePersia's first points in the game. Now all five IUPUI Jaguars have scored. Lampman, 4-3. Of course, Blake Lampman hits a big triple, and that one hurt IUPUI. Let's send it over to Sydney Carriel with more. Hey, thanks, Neil. One thing to point out, you guys, and one thing we need to keep an eye on is for IUPUI, Nathan McClure, he has four fouls. So Oakland pointed that out in the timeout that, look, he has one one more and he's out. So we'll keep an eye on that. Neil? And you would think that would be a pretty good matchup, possibly for Jalen Moore or whoever they have on McClure. And a lot of times it'll come in like a 
closeout situation, late shot clock. You see you've got those guys, but they've got a lot of foul trouble. This is two has got three, Maxwell's got three, Stanton's got three. You can pick your poison with that right. one. That's Put pretty much everybody, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> like pick your poison. You do you have to give IUPUI though all the credit in the world to Matt Crenshaw with what he's done here to it would have been very easy, I think, to tap out. People would have understood. No question. But IUPUI is here, man, and they, they're giving it a go. They, they are. It says something about the team. It says something about Matt. You know, first-year coach, he's had to deal with a lot in this first year and was a heck of a player. He's going to do a good job at IUPUI. Jalen Moore drives baseline. He hangs in the air and scores, and the Golden Grizzlies finally getting the horses out of the barn a little bit. They lead it by 18, coming up on five and a half to play. And you talked about that fatigue. It's starting to show its head right now. That was a straight line drive. Maxwell tries to save that, and he does. To Boston Stanton. To Persia. Bounce pass to Maxwell, tries to fight his way through, and hits a nifty little turnaround shot. B.J. Maxwell can score the ball. He can score. That's a heck of a cut, but he had to stop on the dime because the help was there. And then to get to that shot and make it look so easy, it's pretty impressive. We'll say Price in the game, he has the basketball. Picks up his dribble, now Jamal Kane. Kane puts it on the floor, they switch. Parrish, left corner, 4-3, that's off the front rim. It's a Tua with another rebound, that's his 14th. And there's a takeaway by Osei Price, and McClure has it dunked down by Osei Price. And that's the exclamation point. Here at the arena as Jose Price pounds one down. And he didn't slow down on that one. That was a big time dunk. Maxwell calling for the ball. Goes to DePersia who drives. Maxwell gets it. Drop off McClure shot, way too strong. But an offensive rebound is put back up and in by Mike DePersia, five foot 11, navigating through the tall guys. Well, so the shots aren't falling, but their effort has been great in terms of getting some second shots. Parrish for three. He misses that one off the front rim. Micah Parrish called four points, four rebounds, three assists here tonight. Jaguars with the basketball. Playing with just five players here tonight. McClure with four fouls for IUPUI. Here's to Persia, to McClure. He fires a three and he buries it from the right corner. McClure's got a dozen and a couple made threes. Good press offense there by Oakland. Just gets the ball across, start their offensive attack. Oakland has to build, I mean, IUPUI has to build out their pressure to try to create some turnovers. That's really the only way they can get back in this thing. Shot clock down to seven. There's Parrish alone for three, and that one's too strong. But Osei Price had the offensive rebound, but then lost it. A good look by Parrish. He'll knock that down. And then good effort as well by Price. Just wasn't able to stay in bounds after the offensive rebound. Inside three minutes left. Persia on the wing. Got to know, yeah, know where Maxwell is right now. He was coming around the screen. Had it, lost it. Stanton's three, and he fills it up. Boston Stanton is three of three from behind the three-point line, a 24% three-point shooter. It's March. Percentages mean nothing in this game. He's really stepped up and knocked some big ones down. That foul will go against to Persia. That's the second on to Persia. That's the eighth team foul, so Micah Parrish will go to the line for a one and one. Parrish has not shot a free throw here tonight. But this first one's big, Rex. <laughs> Ten point game. First free throw is good. 
That broke up a 7-0 IUPUI run. They are five of their last five from the floor. They're always trying to attack that zone through the corners, also with dribble penetration. Parrish makes a couple of free throws. Back to a 12-point lead for the Golden Grizzlies inside two and a half left. A little man-to-man -man here by Oakland, changing it up a little bit. De Persia has it at the top of the key. Blake Lampman knocks that ball away. That was, a good post defense from Blake. Yeah, that was great effort. They're switching one through five, so that means Blake gets stuck on Itzatua and just battled his tail off to tip this ball out of bounds. Really good effort by Blake. The Persia tried to send it in, and IUPUI will turn it over. McClure couldn't control it. I think he actually tried to shoot it. And goodness gracious, that would have been a difficult, that would have been a. That would have been a John Morant that, type make. <laughs> that would have been a John, exactly right. But again, we talked about fatigue, and that's what fatigue will do. It also mentally drains you when your body starts to wear down. Six seconds left. Here's Kane kicking it out. Parrish alone in the corner, 4-3. This time, Micah Parrish. Gets it to go, his first made three-pointer of the night. And the cakes are on the griddle here at the arena. 66-51 with a buck 23 to play. And great play by Jamal Kane. There's a turnover, and Jalen Moore up ahead of the pack. He will drive and lay it up and in. Make it 68-51. Boston Stanton spins into the paint. His fadeaway is good. And a timeout called by Matt Crenshaw. So Boston Stanton gets another bucket. Probably a quick trap right here. Problem is there's no one you can foul out there. They're all good free throw shooters if they take care of the ball. And there's a kick by Boston Stanton. Youngstown State lost to Robert Morris. So the Golden Grizzlies will be going to Wright State. Robert Morris will be going to Cleveland State. Just really want to keep the floor spaced right here if you're Oakland, and then they can figure out who they want to foul. And they foul Jalen Moore from behind, so J-Mo will go back to the free throw line. Moore's three of four from the stripe. On the season, Moore shot 79%. And he was up in the low 80s for a good portion until he started having that left wrist issue. And, it, and it's crazy to sound. It's probably the right call by... Matt Crenshaw to foul him just because of the wrist. And he answered that question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like we said, it's March, man. All hands on deck. We got an entire offseason to feel better. No question. To get healed. Yeah, this is what you play for. This is the time of year. Second free throw good for Jalen Moore. 70 to 53. Once again, big possession here for some folks. Institua has it, gets to the rim, and he scores it. 70 to 55. Got to keep your spacing if you're Oakland. Jalen Moore with some nifty ball handling. Jamal Kane has it. And Matt Crenshaw saying don't foul. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. 15 seconds left here in the basketball game. And Osei Price called for the foul as he bumped in to B.J. Maxwell. So the Jaguars will have the ball. Actually, a really good foul by Price. You don't get the, you don't get the breakout layup, and you're still not in the bonus. And Jamal Kane comes off the floor. Replaced by Ty Wyman. And there's old Jamal Kane, 17 points, 7 of 11 shooting, 6 rebounds. That's why he's the Horizon League Co-Player of the Year. But also just big plays as a facilitator, big plays defensively to get stops and rebounds. 
Like, uh, that, that was a really good 17 points because he made the plays when they needed to be made.